Hey guys, this is Dan Strong with Excel VBA is Fun. Uh, thanks for tuning in. This week we have a quick question regarding formatting a text box on a user form for hours and minutes. Um, for example, like a start hour or an end hour. So let's hit Alt F11 and dive right into the Visual Basic Editor in Excel. And um, let's, we're going to go up here and click on Insert User Form. And we're going to click on User Form. And we're going to make this, uh, it's not going to be the best looking thing you've ever seen. We're just going to pop in a couple text boxes and we'll pop in a couple labels. And uh, we're just going to say start time and end time. Good enough. I don't care how the labels look right now. I'm trying to get to the, the actual programming part. So uh, you can format your own labels however you want. So this one I'm going to go to the properties box and I'm going to call it TB start. This one we'll, we'll call it TB end for text box. Double click on the first one with me. Let's the one we'll program. So TB start. Let's double click on that. And I don't really want to go to the change event because it'll happen every keystroke and everything you type in there. So let's just go to the before update event and I'll remove the change event. The before update event occurs uh, as you're clicking away, tabbing away, or basically exiting the cell. You're then able to uh, do a little bit of um, research as to if this cell is okay to leave yet. And you can do cancel equals true if you don't want them to be able to leave the cell. And you can even add a message box or something if you want. But let's go ahead and do a little bit of validation so the main heart and soul of what I'd like to show you is just really simple. Um, we're going to take, uh, let's just do it into a variable right now. We're going to say my var equals, and my var is just, uh, you could name that anything you want. You could call it pancakes. I, it doesn't matter. But we're going to make a variable, a container of information to equal to, and we're going to reference that text box. And to do that, we're going to say me dot, me represents our user form. So me, you could say user form one or whatever its name is, or you could say me, which is universal. Me.tb, let's hit down and hit tab. Me.tb start. So for starters, that would take the value of whatever's been entered into there whenever you exit that cell and pop it into a variable, which doesn't do much yet. But what we want to do is we want to format that. Now, normally I say use format, uh, but I found whenever I was experimenting with this, that it doesn't work as well so what I'd like to what I'm going to show you is let's use application dot worksheet function dot text which is the worksheet function equals text only you can do it in VBA as well so we're going to do application dot worksheet function dot text and in that formula the first argument is what is the string of text so that's this whatever is in me dot tb start the starting time uh, text box, comma. The second argument is how do you want to format it? So we're going to put that in quotes, just like we do whenever we hit Control-1 and go into the format cells in a worksheet. Let's format this as hour, hour, colon, minute, minute, and let's do end quote and end parentheses. And when I click away, you'll notice all this spacing automatically will, will format itself and make it nice and neat looking. Let's go ahead and put a breakpoint. You can hit F9 or you can click right there on the little gray bar right there. Or you can put the word stop. Let's just do that for now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click the play button, which is the run uh, user form, open the user form kind of button. So here we are, start time. Let's just put, um, for starters, let's put 11 colon 30. And I'm going to click away. That will trigger the um, before update event. So let's click there and here it's been triggered. And not only has it been triggered, but we've just chosen to debug halfway through. So let's go ahead and see my var is currently empty. It has no value. If we hover over me.tb start, we see we've, uh, we've got the correct text box because the value is 11 colon 30 and it's a string. And we're about to format it as hour, hour, minute, minute. Well, 1130 already is pretty well formatted that way, but let's see what it looks like in a variable. So let's hit uh, F8 and so now we see my var the variable is equal to 1130 pretty boring so far um, let's do something trickier so let's make it uh, 11 so how about something impossible 1165 right we actually know that 
1160 is the same as saying 12 o'clock, only nobody says 1160. So wouldn't this technically be uh, 12 o'clock plus 5 minutes? Let's see how it responds to that. Let's see, 1165 is really a, an error, but it corrects it for me and says, hey, that's really 1205, buddy. So that's pretty cool in and of itself. What I'd like to do, I'm going to copy and paste this me.tb start. So our, our text box that contains the start time, I really, at the end, when everything's said and done, I want it to be equal to my var. Or I could skip the middleman and I could just put the start to me.tb start equals uh, this conversion process here. So let's see what that does right here. Uh, it says 1165, but we're going to make it equal to our converted time, which is actually makes better sense, is 1205, and boom. Now, let's do a little bit of validation. This is a cool trick that you can try. Let's, um, I really don't want anybody typing anything other than um, digit, digit, colon, digit, digit. So let's go ahead and do a very lightning validation. Um, obviously, you can do a lot more than this, but let's just put something in there. Uh, let's trigger our event. So I'm going to say 13O instead of 1300. And let's see what it does, first of all, in our conversion before we do anything. So 13O. It would change it to 1300. Um, and that's fine. Uh, let's do a little bit of validation. It, let's assume that you wanted them to always have to type 13 or uh, digit, digit, colon, digit, digit. So let's put something in there. So we're going to say if let's say me dot uh, tb start is like let's do question mark question mark colon question mark question mark and then let's put a stop mark else stop and if so we have I will actually if it's not if so if me.tb start, that's our text box. If that value is not similar to um, anything, anything, colon, anything, anything, then we want to do our validation here. Let's test it right now. So currently it is, um, it's digit, digit, colon, digit not two digits at the end so let's let's hit f8 and see how, where that lies here so it is not like this right now so what we would do in that event if we wanted this particular kind of validation there's so much different validation you could put on that if you wanted and really the conversion works pretty well pretty intuitively but just for fun let's say if that happens we're gonna do a quick message box space and we're gonna say please please use format and we'll put it in single quote or an apostrophe there h h colon m m single quote and then uh, end quote for our message box and then we're going to say cancel equals true now we alluded to that a little bit earlier but there is a uh, built-in variable for the before update event so if cancel by default which is false if you make cancel equal to true well then it's not going to actually exit that cell or that text box as soon as cancel equals true and then the procedure ends it actually goes back and in, and into that text box and makes you do something else so you're pretty well stuck there until you get it the way the programmer wanted you to use it so we get this message box please use format our minute minute cancel equals true which means that uh, we should probably exit sub so that it ends a little bit early. Whoops. So we're going to say exit sub. Now the procedure ends early. So cancel equals true means that we're still stuck on this cell. So we would get that message uh, perpetually until we got it right. So let's go ahead and get it right for a second. Okay. So at least the format's correct. So uh, it is it is like the format that we want so we don't need anything really here we don't even need the else we could take that out so then we have this formatting thing that happens and it automatically formats it I think that's pretty well all I wanted to show you on that and I hope that answers your question uh, Joseph um, but I wasn't sure exactly what you wanted to know beyond that oh quick fun thing you could do 
Uh, let me show you this here. Um, you could also format it with AM or PM if you wanted. Instead of if you if you didn't want to use uh, military time, you could use civilian time very easily. Let me show you how to do that really quick. So you could uh, take this formatting with it says hours HH colon MM for minutes, and if you do space, you need to do AM slash PM. And then uh, whatever we put inside there, so if I put 10, and uh, of course if I colon away it wouldn't work right now because I put that validation. Uh, if I click there and I click away it says AM. Now if I put 13.05, which we know is 1.05 PM, if I click away it changes it to 1.05 PM. So that's a really cool formatting trick that you can do. Last thing I will leave you with is that you, you you know, this text formula is actually pretty intuitive. So if I were to click the comment out block for this validation at the beginning, I think that it would be pretty intuitive. Let me type 10 and hit and hit tab. So I was wrong. Nope, I like the validation better. It works better with 10 colon 00, or at least 10 colon 0. Yep. So, so yeah, you might want to leave that validation in there then. But you can experiment with that and see what works for you. Anyway, thanks for watching. And if you want to download this uh, workbook, it is going to be a, uh, just check the video description. And you can click on the download link and check that out. Thanks for watching. God bless.